Hello everyone, I haven't seen you guys a long time. So yeah, I haven't posted video like uh, over years. So now I'm gonna make decision, I will post more video if I have a time. Uh, most of the time I'm very busy on my uh, business. Yeah, as you know, I make a dancing custom. And every year, dancing school and the dancing company and uh, some solo dancers, I make lots of custom for them. Uh, when I'm busy, I'm really busy. There's someone leave message, ask me a question about my video. I just don't have time to answer that. Sorry about that. So I could be full-time YouTuber if you can help me to get more people watch my video. So actually, I have a lots of great idea I want to share with you. I hope this thing going to happen in the future. So now, because of coronavirus, my business can slow down a little bit. And some people said, hey, why don't you make some mask for people to help someone? I think I thought about it, but I think, hey, maybe better just uh, share my idea how to make an easy mask by yourself. Uh, that way I can help lots of people. So now I have my idea. This is a mask. It's so easy to make. See that one? So, look comfortable. What well, just use your old t-shirt. Only two things we need. And uh, scissor. Okay. I have a big uh, professional scissor. I can cut the ten layers fabric if you use this uh, use this scissor. So if you don't have the big one, small one is okay. Like uh, scissor, you can cut the paper, and uh, even I think a kitchen scissor, if sharp enough, you just cut one layer uh, at a time. So the other, your uh, the other old T-shirt, okay, old T-shirt. So be sure wash the T-shirt before you make a mask. If you have all the stuff ready, let me show you how to make this one. Let's do it. Okay, uh, this piece of fabric cut from my old T-shirt. We will need a 13 times 16 inches piece of fabric to make the mask. First, measure 13 inches. Make a mark. Cut the fabric by following the straight line. We're going to make a three layers mask. So fold once and fold twice. This is a three layer fabric. Uh, you can iron a little bit to make the thing flat and uh, will be easy to work on it. So we're going to fold from the center. Measure eight inches from center to the edge. Now the total length is 16 inches. Now we can measure 3 inches from center, make mark. Measure half inch from both sides. For mask stripes, connecting all the dots. To the corner, uh, you can cut a 90 degree corner, but I like a corner in arch. Okay, let's do the cutting. Uh, this is a six layers of fabric. If you don't have a sharp scissor, you have to cut one layer at a time. Open from center. No, we need a tight four knots on each corner. So I move the camera closer. You can see how to tight the knots clearly. After that, we need to stretch the straps, make the knots very tight.
Do the same thing on the other three stripes. Because each corner stripe will have two pieces, we need to cut one piece out. Uh, we're going to cut the thin one out and save the thick one. Uh, this is adjustable. Uh, you could you could tie it each side of the uh, stripes. Uh, put on your face. If too tight or too loose, you can uh, retie the thing again. Uh, when the mask fits perfectly, uh, you can cut the rest of the strap. Oh, by the way, if you want to add extra layer, you can put the actual layer in the center. That's it. Uh, I hope this video can help you and your family and your friends. Yes, if you think this video helped you, please share the video as much as possible to the other people to help other people to make their own mask. So I hope you stay strong, healthy, positive, and we're going to help each other, we're going to pass the difficult time. I will see you next time.